Hi everyone, I'm Prakriti and welcome to the final episode of The Artist. Today we have with us a very special guest, musician Sanjita Bhattacharya. Mera dil hai teri kadmo par Usi ke aage sar mein apna jhukata raha Bandhi to meri fitrat hai Har kadam pe mein usi khuda ka raha Rahu pana mein mere aar ki Karta rahu rehen maa ki dua Welcome to the show Sanjita, it's Thanks. great to have you and I think I'm just gonna go ahead and call you Rani because that's yes, what I've please. been calling you since <laughs> childhood. So um, tell us something about the kind of music that you do. Alright, um, I mean it's still a still work in progress honestly, uh, I haven't really found a particular um, sound yet, it's always been like influences from all over the place. Mm -hmm. Um, I grew up learning in Hindustani classical. Um, in school, I was going to all these musical competitions where I sang like R&B, pop R&B stuff. Uh, and once I went to college, I was working on a lot of uh, Latin music, uh, music from the Balkan regions. So it's influences from everywhere. And uh, right now, I am. Uh, not thinking about like what genre my music is but more about concentrating on the words that I'm writing and whatever uh, melody fits that is what it is um, so right now it's more about the words so in case anybody is wondering uh, in which college you get to play Latin and Balkan music <laughs> so why don't you tell us a little bit about that as well so I went to this college called Berkeley College of Music. It's in Boston. Um, it happens to be quite a, quite a college, quite a name that people reckon with, uh, which is great to have like seniors, your seniors are Esperanza Spaulding, John Mayer, and, but I'm just Sanjita. <laughs> uh, so anyway, that was great. Experience was amazing. I made some really great friends. Now I can crash at their places all over the world. Sanjita, you mentioned that you got training in Hindustani classical, then you moved on to Berkeley. Now you're in India and playing all over the country. So your influences have changed over the years, I assume, and a lot of things have shaped your music. Yeah. How would you describe it beginning from uh, Hindustani classical and maybe how it helped you and what kind of interactions you had with the others at Berkeley? I did Hindustani classical, I trained under my Guru Ma for at least eight or nine years, I think, uh, give or take. And then once I went to Berkeley, uh, m there were people from all over the world playing their own kind of music. And uh, I found a lot of similarities mm. uh, in Hindustani classical and say flamenco, mm. because flamenco origins of flamenco are in India. Oh, Gypsy, really? Yeah, it's, you know, Rajasthani folk. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, they say that it traveled from India to Europe, the gypsies. Oh, okay. So the music and the language evolved and changed accordingly. Mm -hmm. And uh, you can hear it in the nuances, in the inflections that they, uh, that they sing with. Mm -hmm. It has a lot of similarities with Indian music and uh, say also music of the Balkan regions, mm. their folk music. Now folk music everywhere will have some kind of similarity because it is the music of the land, so to speak. And uh, even their inflections are very similar to the rag based music that we 
have uh, in classical mm. uh, traditions in India. So as you mentioned, you have a few originals yeah. and we would love to listen to another one. So oh. could, could you please play one for us? Sure. Mother, did you lie to me when you said I was your quiet baby boo? Look, I am a woman now of broken many hearts and hurt you too. Now there are many parts to the story that's begun. With each chapter you will find your baby ain't the one Fine lady that you imagined her to become Ma, are you lonely when you sit and read in the corner of your room? When father sits there quietly drowning himself in cigarette fumes Are you falling out of love or are you just worried about your son? He's 30 going on 31 and he hasn't found the one Mother, are you lonely on the couch where you sleep when the day is done? You crowdfunded one of your songs, so tell us something a little bit more about that. Um, so I crowdfunded the music video mm. of Rolling Stones in collaboration with Wishberry, which is the crowdfunding platform. Mm. They reached out to me uh, saying that they have chosen six artists from the country, mm. um, out of which all six or few of them mm. will finally reach the goal and they will help us record a music video for whichever song we we'd like an original mm -hmm. and of course i jumped on it and i was like yeah sure mm -hmm. and i had a song in mind it was called you shine and uh i hadn't recorded it i had a deadline for it so i recorded it in a hurry and uh, got onto the crowdfunding campaign people were generous enough to give that much money which is quite a lot actually kind of almost three lakh i was overwhelmed by the response i didn't know that people wanted to listen to something from me and that they would contribute but they did and uh, yeah uh, it should be out hopefully later this month next month um, uh, each song had its own issues mm -hmm. so that people that you could tell people like this is what the song is about this is what you get if mm -hmm. you contribute and this is the issue that it's talking about so mine was related to uh, uh, mostly feeling alone in a in a scene in a crowd full of people and uh, finally the protagonist in the song uh, commits suicide so it was related to that issue. Sanjita, being an independent artist, even if you have a band now, you're trying to play with your friends, uh, I'm sure it's, it must be really difficult to kind of manage everything and kind of um, just streamline the processes because you travel a lot as well. So yeah. how, how does that happen and what has your experience been on that front so far? It's, uh, it's honestly, it's kind of hectic. Um, <clears throat> because uh, right now I'm not working with a manager or a managing company mm -hmm. um, because I believe that happens organically finding a manager because that person will be kind of almost a part of your band so until I find a person who I have that kind of connect and trust with mm -hmm. I want to do it independently myself and uh, I am right now the person in the band mm -hmm. who is uh, doing all of it uh, it's hectic because I have to handle the logistics. I have to do the dirty work with the client. I didn't, that came out wrong. What I mean was, <laughs> what I mean is I have to talk about all the money part, which is the dirtiest work. And uh, uh, making sure that the tech is taken care of and everything. And then of course the music. 
So it is hectic, but uh, uh, I, I enjoy it. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not complaining. And hopefully we'll get a manager soon and uh, once we get even busier. And I don't mind the travel at all. Uh, that's part of what I always wanted to do. I wanted to be a travel photographer. Um, and it, this kind of goes hand in hand with, mm. with it. You mentioned that you wanted to become a travel photographer. Yeah. <laughs> so are you still kind of trying to do that along with the music? Yeah. Uh, and how did you go from there to here? <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, travel photographer was always at the back of my mind. Since I was little, my dad gave me this little camera. Uh, he's also into it. So that's how uh, the connection was made. Um, and we used to travel as a family a lot road trips mostly like we went from Delhi to say Sikkim or Delhi to Kolkata by road and we saw a lot of Rajasthan so that grew in me and of course the urge to travel now it's a trend they say they call it wanderlust hashtag Sanjita what all are you currently working on currently uh, I'm work I'm just playing a lot uh, with my band hmm. and um, yeah we are traveling and um, we are plan on releasing a single mm -hmm. soon. It's a single. The song is called Run. That's the next single we want to put out. And hopefully, uh, like last year, we did a five city tour. Mm -hmm. This July as well, we want to do a tour. So that's what we're working on currently. Uh, can you share a little bit about the kind of audience that you've been playing for and how has the experience been with the audience in particular? Um, Honestly, like every gig has a different kind of audience uh, right now. Uh, in pubs and all, it's usually people our age. Mm. Uh, the, unfortunately or fortunately, people are usually drunk. That's what it <laughs> that's what it kind of takes for them to like you know go what. But um, um, hopefully, in the near future, we can play to a sober audience that goes that crazy mm. to your music and uh, uh, in corporate gigs in slightly like they are called corporate or private gigs mm. it's uh, like people are parents age mm. and they usually want to listen to Bollywood mm. and stuff that they can relate to that stuff that they've heard so that's another kind of audience and then there's music festivals where everyone has come to have a great time with their friends listen to indie acts play um, and you can just go crazy on stage I think that's my favorite place to play music because everyone is kind of on the same vibe and uh, there's music happening everywhere there's also drinks of course but but that's just a part of it so those are the kinds of people. And then there's intimate gatherings, which I also love, mm. which is uh, a gathering of, say, 20, 30 people, mm. or not even. And it's a room where, uh, where I can just, or with my friends, I can just play acoustic mm. gig. No amplification, no mics. I think that is, that is great. Of course, on a day when I don't sound like this with a blocked nose. <laughs> but yeah, those are great. Sanjita is an independent artist who's been around for not too long yeah. <laughs> uh, but I'm sure that you have learned a lot of things and experienced a lot of things so what would you what are the tips that you would give to somebody who's kind of just uh, thinking about it or has just started so there are a few things that you need to be wary of don't let established artists take advantage of you in any way especially as a woman so say a person who is quite a huge name in India right now uh, we met one night we we spoke we talked about music and such next day he invites me over uh, to his studio to make some music eventually I find, find out that he just wants to do stuff and uh, it's def nothing professional happening uh, he has called me for Absolutely nothing no, music, nothing to do with music, basically. And uh, this he has the, um, the audacity to do only because he is such a huge name. Mm -hmm. And he expects that I won't say anything. I won't. Uh, I, 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 and maybe, maybe also I would even say yes to whatever he wants to do because he is such a huge name and he might get me somewhere. Mm -hmm. So I would just say never let 
those things uh, get in the way of music. Like, uh, like in film, there's casting couch. In music, there could be a ladder that you might want to climb, not through music. Uh, by doing these kinds of things, just don't let it happen. You will f like feel really bad, I'm sure, by the end of it. And also be wary of people who want to manage you. Uh, don't just go to any kind of event management company and commit, sign a contract or anything. Because like I said earlier, it's like a another person off the band. You make sure that there's trust, there's communication, there's transparency and friendship, mm -hmm. most of all, that they want good for you. And it's, they're not working for the money, mm -hmm. the cut that they're getting. And yeah, they want you to uh, thrive in the industry. And uh, yeah, just these things, uh, just make sure that you are making good decisions. Yeah, that's about it. You gotta really think before you say yes to things. Sanjita, thank you so much for uh, coming on The Artist and we really enjoyed having you here. And I would love to listen to another one of your songs. Yeah. <laughs> Pensarte es abrir mi libro favorito y vivirlo de nuevo aunque sepa final es caminar por el sendero más bonito para caerme por un risco fatal Es regresar a ese día que cambiaste ay, mi vida Con el brillar de tu sonrisa es ver tu mirada Malvado calculando tu próximo flechazo Pensarte es pensarte Y amarte me lleva, pero amarte esta noche es morir en la tierra. Si sí, es morir en la tierra, es morir en la tierra.